I'm sorry. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Bitterman Bar. No, that was a horrible accent to start off. Man, I'm going to be an embarrassment to all Scottish people today. But hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. Oh, I never posted on Instagram. Hold on. Give me a second. Why is there? Why is it? Why is why that? Why are you not, always behind? I don't know. Anyway, Aren't you I ready? really thought that I was going to have it down today. Um, but unfortunate, unfortunately, I forgot to post on Instagram. I'm just on the story, so I just got to post it up with the link. Throw the link up there so people can get in. But all of our people are here. All the peeps are here. You can go ahead and um, read them off if you like. Oh, I get to be in charge again. Just for while I post this. Joe was here early. I even said, "Oh, Joe's here." She did say that. It is Thirsty Thursday today. We're very thirsty. That's why there's three bottles of alcohol on the table. We have way more than So it's Stacy. I feel like we haven't seen Stacy in a long time. Stacy Age oh, in the house. Feel, or Leaf Whiskey. She was there last week. I just, yeah, she was just for a short, a for a short time. Yeah. yeah. Bino is in the house. She's a busy gal. So hello, Bino. Bino in the house. Um, Sugar Kitty is here. Robin is yelling. Um, already so clearly she's been drinking and so is my father Ooh. Ooh. we have an announcement today we do yes holden finally upgraded me to a comfy chair oh yes guys we got new chairs okay and my mother bought them for us so yes. really robin bought them i mean they're very cheap they're like 35 bucks but you know what? Oh, I'm already comfortable. I have it's got a bigger butt area, so I can like, it's got, like a little be back comfortable. Rest. It's got a backrest, so my back doesn't. Yeah, hurt. it's this is great. I did you guys? I don't know if they ever saw what the other ones look like. Just grab one without the stuff on it. But it has this one. Well, that can go on the floor. Doesn't matter. It's we don't thing. need it. Yeah, using muscles. This is what we used to sit on. This is the sad shit Colton had my big caboose on. It's very small. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it's very it's Here. not it's not large even enough as for long a as my arm. Okay. And it's like just this dinky little chair. And now we got these big cushions with the backrest and everything. So so good. But yes. anyway, that being said, did you get everyone in this chat? Yeah. Alright, that being said, what did you get, Peter? Wait. No, because he didn't say hello. Please. Peter. He just said, hi, Stacey. Peter. What about the rest of us? Hey, Peter. Sassanac. Sassanac. Yes. So, guys, today we're drinking uh, alcohol from Sassanac Spirits. And, yes, it is Thursday, which it is weird. It's still TGIT, but it just doesn't just mean the, the same thing. Thursday, the just the wrong T. Um, but Sassanac Spirits, you guys, is a spirits company made by the one and only uh, Sam Hewen who plays James Frazier. That's what say. There's no jerk. James Frazier. Frazier. How's that? James Frazier. There's no jerk. Zer. Frazier. When you're saying something with an accent, you automatically, like, James Frazier. close your throat and kind of like, no. I'm not adding a G to it. I'm just saying it Scottish. Then how come? In Scotland, they don't pronounce it Fraser. I'm not. Fraser. I'm saying Fraser. 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 There's no Zer. It's not Fraser. Oh my gosh. Zer. Fraser. Only one people who call him Fraser are him and Claire. Are fucking people who don't talk in a Scottish accent. Holden. It's not called Fraser's Ridge. It's called I, Fraser's Ridge. No, it is not. It's called Fraser's Ridge. Oh, I am going to my, lose I am my so mind. bothered right now. <laughs> oh, now she's gonna look it up just to prove that I'm right. Jamie Fraser singing his name. I can't wait to be read about this. Hold on. Fraser. Fraser. Who's <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, and he's very hot, guys. You know what? <laughs> you hate to be wrong. I hate being wrong. You have watched that show for how long? I swear someone says it Fraser. That's just how you say Fraser 
That's how you say it with an American accent. But we're no. trying to be Scottish today. I, I'm just, I just, I swear it happens. Did we did, wait, okay, 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 hold on. First of all, it's not Sasquatch Spirits. Sasquatch Spirits. Spirits Sasquatch. Sasquatch, which means oh, Outlander yeah. in Scott and Gaelic. Um, Derek says to celebrate Thursday. Oh, whoa! To celebrate Thursday, Thursday, we are having whiskey, smoked, salted caramel brownie. What the fuck? I had the opportunity to eat brownies today, and I didn't. Want to know why? Because I'm a good little boy who sticks to his I'm diet. A good ally who yeah. yells at other people about not being able to speak correctly. Only when they're wrong. Then why do you help me today? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Ah. Okay, so those brownies actually sound delicious. Hanging AZ's in the house says Holden and Lauren on a Thursday. Wild man. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? Isn't so that crazy? We were out on Tuesday. So we had planned, let's try Thursday and see how it goes. Yeah, so, we went out with my parents and we honestly never do that. And this is the first time we've ever done that. But it was just us and my parents. It was fun though. We had a good time. Did some drinking, went to the bourbon room and had some some whiskey, had some old fashions, barrel aged old fashions. Oh, it hit the spot, that's for sure. Fighting already, yes, well, we are, we are. Nin, nin. Tis, tis, tis. Hoot AZ. Whatever that means, yes. Okay, so Sass Snack Spirits, guys, um, brought to you by Sam Hewen, who plays James Fraser. Say it with in no. Uh, in... Because you can't? I just showed you a whole video of him saying it. James Fraser. There you go. Good job. In Outlander. And he is a main character per se. Him and Claire are the main characters. But he decided to come up with his own whiskey brand because in the show, they actually, um, he distills his own whiskey. He moves to the colonies and, uh, spoiler alert, moves to the colonies, opens a still. No, he had whiskey first before all, the colonies, first of all. didn't he? Raise your hand if you've watched the TV show Outlander. Nobody. I cares. feel like Stacy would watch it. Stacy possibly very well could have watched the uh, oh, Outlander. How do they say tequila in Scottish? Tequila. Oh, shite. I'm just kidding. And <laughs> get it because they wouldn't. They would say it's shite. Well, um, no, but they say that about France, not about Mexico. I know it was, it was a joke because it's not Scotch. Anyway, um, I don't. I don't know. El Tequilino. El Tequilino. El Tequilino. El Tequilino. See, I told you, Stacey watched it. I watched a season or two. Of, a season or two. How'd you only get a season or two? Well, I got she okay, probably the got to the, the best one. She probably got to the rape scenes and she's like, fuck, no, I ain't watching this. Mm, she probably got to the boat and then was like, man. Mm, yeah, the boat's Once you get to the, the boat, there's less sex. It's not as fun. Um, anyway, no spoilers, I'm sorry, but this might have some spoilers, so if you guys don't want it, you Why just have to close your ears. Why spoilers? We're talking about the, the alcohol. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, what if we just get on a rant, but we're doing all things okay. Sassnack tonight. So what do they do in Scotland? They drink whiskey. So he and make whiskey. whiskey. And so I don't even think this is Scotch. He started, it's just, oh, it is no, Scotch. it's Scotch. He started with a Highland Scotch, and then he moved on and made a tequila in partnership with, um... Uh, Tony Salers, Salas, Antonio Salas, thank you very much, um, who is a third generation master distiller who makes tequila, so it is was a partnered effort on the tequila. And then this gin is brand new, it just, just came out um, very recently, um, but it has a lot of Scottish botanicals, and so it's like a Scottish gin, per se. Oh, okay, um, so if you read the back of it, it tells you what happened. So Antonio must be a tequila man, and Sam As I just is said. a Scotch man. So to they came together to share passion, their passion and then to share this new culture, which is where they came out with the tequila. Yep. I read that earlier today. Oh, you did? Yep. Right now? On the internet. No, I was in some research. Um, some wild thunderstorms passing through. There, it was like... It, it was, was pouring like crazy. Yeah. It was, it was, but only for like about 10 minutes. Yeah. If that. Then it stopped. Uh, in Scotland, tequila is pronounced... Ew. Like ew? Ew? Maybe. 
I mean, the thing is, the thing is, Sugar Kitty could totally be fucking with us, but at the same time, he's so smart that he could actually know if it means something. So, like, I wouldn't put it past him, but I'm pretty sure he's saying the same joke that I did when I said shite. Um, I think we switched cable, and I don't have, or and I haven't finished watching it, but she'll catch up, she says. Well, you should. The first um, five seasons on Netflix, and then it goes to Star. Peter White says Burkhladi puts out a good gin. Oh, yeah? I've never had. I've only had a few gins in my I like life. anything with the name Laddie in it because I like the name. The classic Laddie. Laddie. Laddie, Laddie, Yeah, it's the motherfucking hell. Double D. Still gone. All right, I had to do that. Scottish gin. Can I ask you would want, will want a bottle? Scotch Stanunda? Yeah. Scotch Stanunda. We tried it. It's actually pretty good. I'll actually start with the gin since it's going to be the most um, lightest. Probably. Actually, maybe... This is 42% alcohol. Yeah, we're going to start with the gin to get the palate warmed up here, okay? Um, going to go right... They in. sell Sassanac glasses. Glen Karen's? Yeah. Interesting. That was probably more gin than I needed. I should have worn my shirt. Go put it on. I don't really go put it on, you crazy Scottish loving girl. No, oh, my knee hurts. I'm sorry. Get your big fat ass out of here. I have to limp. Okay. It hurts. Looks like I'm fat now. <laughs> I don't know enough about gins. Oh my goodness. I swear I have like a little dinosaur in, in this house. Um, <laughs> Peter I says lots of Scottish gin out there. Okay. I Like I said, I am not versed at all in gin. I hardly know tequila. I dabble, I dabble quite often in scotch, but mainly bourbon and rye is my knowledge. I do know some mixers though. Like I'm, I like making mixed drinks. So that's like, you know, that's one of those things that I like to do. So I do know like other things. Um, I did get a bottle of Drambuie because we are going to be making some cocktails a little bit later after we get through drinking the actual spirits themselves. Um, but Scotch Down Under definitely already has the botanist gin. The botanist gin. Yes. Very good, Bubba. Looks great. Um, and he says, I don't know anything about gin, to be fair. To be fair. Yeah, I don't either. Or I don't. Um, that is botanist. I can't see the label. No, this is called the Sassanac Wild Scottish Gin. Product of Scott. Plus, these bottles, guys, like, I don't know. They're cool bottles. We were just talking about how we don't understand, like, this is a different bottle. Well, probably because it's a collab. Now we learned that oh, today. Maybe, yeah. Probably because it's a collaboration bottle. Uh, this is what the scotch bottle looks like. Blended scotch. So, and keep in mind, guys, that these are um, celebrity products. So, but, but it's more like the Brothers Bond celebrity products. Yeah, they do right, really like enjoy drinking it and doing it. About, yeah, it's not well, just like whiskey. I think. Yeah, it's not like he's throwing his name on it, you know, and taking like, pictures with it. I don't I'm know. pretty sure. I think that I'm not really sure. We'd have to watch Men in Kilt. I bet it talks about it on there. We probably oh, should. probably. It's probably funny. I can't imagine that they would have put him making scotch in the show. That's true. If he didn't like he it didn't like doing it in real life. But Fraser's has got to be. In the I don't know. Okay. I'm on book two. Okay, so it doesn't smell as harsh as a normal gin. I feel like I should bring out the Bombay to compare it, mm, but I don't think oh, I bought tonic water too, so we could we could try I a gin. I want drink. tonic. I want a French seventy five. God, you don't listen when I talk. That's true. Just kidding. Um, I can't remember. Let's see if it has the ingredients in here. It does. On the top. Okay. So, um, crafted from Scotland's wild landscape featuring heather, wild Scottish apple, scotch pine, toasted oats, bramble leaves, rhubarb, blackberry, and juniper. Um, I don't know it what says, dedicated to the pursuit of unique spirits that are careful. Oh, yeah, it's just like. That's his name. They're typical, like, oh, we're good quality spirits. It's what every spirits bottle should probably say. Um, it's like that. Fake market that doesn't really. So like is this like anything. Heather is like the most prominent than Apple and then Pine? Because I know I don't think it's supposed to be super juniper forward since. Um, what is juniper? Juniper is very common for a lot of gin. Okay, but what what does it taste like? 
or what is it? I, I, I don't know what any of the botan botanicals in gin taste like on their own, except for like I'm guessing pine you know what apples and oats taste like. Bramble yeah. is the flavor of that. Bramble is like a, bit, purple, is a blackberry. Yeah, or it's like the flavor a, of that purple beer at, at Yeah, it's like a blackberry type lion's tail. Deal. Rhubarb is like blueberry. Love rhubarb. rhubarb. Bar, but what's a blayberry? A what? A blayberry. Where? Oh, I thought that said blackberry. <laughs> it says B L A E berry. B L A E berry. A blueberry. Blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. Um. Okay. Well, on the nose, it does smell good. I got it with that. It does smell fruity. Obviously botanical. Um. Uh, man, I'm just not super good with the gin thing. But let's get it on the hash. On the what? On the hash. What tingles? Oh, it's like minty. It's fruity, like, like a young. I don't know if you want to say young fruity, like a non-ripe fruit. You know, like where it's kind of like. Well, I think that's just the planty. Oh well, yeah, it's, it's like the planty, um, plantain type. Like. Plantain. You ever had a plantain? No. Exactly. So stop saying. Well, what is a plantain? It's a fucking unripe green banana. Is what I would expect it to taste like. Yelling? Oh, I'm just saying. Why do you think I'm acting like Can I'm stupid? Stop? Have you had a plantain? Yes, I have. What does it taste like? I don't like plantain. What does it taste like? I don't know what it tastes like. Does it like. taste like tell you. a non-ripe green Can you fruit? just stop acting like you know everything today? You don't have plantains. You've never had one. You don't know what you're freaking talking about. You can't pronounce Jamie's name. What is wrong with you? Do you just not bring your game on Thursday? You know what? It's not even Tuesday, okay? Gosh. Um... I know that on a really hot day, a G and T and a few of them hit the spot. I love G and T's absolutely. Um, is it Tuesday already? No, yeah, unfortunately, I yeah. Actually, it's a good thing it's not Tuesday already because I got some killer bottles down there, and if I had to wait a whole week before drinking them, I'd probably cry. But I am gonna drink them on the next live stream. I'll pull them out later. But it's super exciting. You guys are gonna love them, um, mainly because they're hard to find. Um, Biking Bourbon said the chat says, "Cheers, everyone!" Biking Bourbon, my man. Hola. Um, welcome to it. Bourbon School says, cheers, guys. Almost to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. Subscribers. We've been almost to 1,000 subscribers forever because nobody's following us. That's mainly my fault since uh, ever since summer happened and I got a second job and I've been so busy. I haven't been able to put out my typical content. But I do have a video. You know what? If Sam followed us, you know, if people would follow us. Sam Hewen should just come on the channel. And then a lot more people would follow oh, us. Yeah. But we should just have them here and and host them and interview them right here. Gosh. I imagine don't know if I could get imagine him trying to sit behind the bar. If fucking knees <laughs> would hit it, he'd be like, what is this shite? I don't know if he's that tall in person. He just looks like a big man. Well, yeah, he's got Wait, I wonder if these people know who we're talking about. I'm gonna look them up. That all Sam Hugan. Doesn't have the G. You you used to yell at me. I know. I was G E N. No, G A G N. Um, with an H? Yes. Oh, you didn't put the H, no? I know that's because I typed what you said, and the only reason I put a G in it is because I was enunciating while I was typing. Okay, let's just show you guys who this sexy man is. No, wait, pick the Hold pick on. picture let me, of Jamie from season one. Let me just let me just share my screen here. Okay, okay. Let's just share the entire screen. It's always easier when you share the entire screen. It just is. Here he is, guys, right here. Here's a good oh, yeah. picture from season one. Yeah. Uh, is that season one? That's season one. He looks old. He looked younger in season one, I thought. Then type in Outlander season one. I'm typing, I'm in the Why are you like this? If Sam watches this, he's gonna come and he's gonna say, Jesse, I'm an asshole. Treat you like shit. And I'm gonna say, oh, you want me to marry you? And then I'm like, oh, I'm just kidding. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> now if he watches it, he's gonna think I'm weird. Okay. Maybe it's season one, but like, Ugh. there's, I thought there, he looks like here or here. That's him. That's like the new season. Who the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> that <one. laughs> See, baby oh, face. Man. That's baby face, Jamie. Anyway, um, but that's enough of that. You guys get the gist. He's cool. Um, you guys get the gist. He's a bad, a bad him. bitch. 
Uh, yeah. Shirky says in Wisconsin, do you call the trees juniper or cedar? Cedar. Oh, I didn't know if those were the same thing. So where did juniper berries come from? There's not berries on cedar trees. I don't know, but I love the smell of cedar. Yeah. Like I go to the cedar part of the warehouse uh, at Menards, and it's like I, it smells like a humidor. Um, Unguava gin from Quebec. Quebec is an interesting gin made with six Arctic botanicals. Ooh. Interesting. So how many gin lovers do we got in the chat today? I like gin. You don't like gin. You like I drink gin that drinks. just fine. I've never had just gin. You never offer it to me. That's true. You, you did drink this yeah, just fine. Yeah, I like this. Um, yeah. It's because the only gin I used to, the only gin I had ever had straight for a long time was Tangeray, and Tangeray sucks. Um... I don't know. It's a touchy subject, Derek. Um, Peter White says, you need to jump on a li live from other channels and the mods will for sure drop the link in your channel. Honestly, Peter, we know. I would. We just, Holden doesn't have time. He's always working. He's always tired. He's always eating. I really don't have time. Like, I well, you personally- Well, have time now because you changed your schedule. That's true. I did if come out. If you are up to 1,000 subscribers by next month, I'm going to be really disappointed in you. I sincerely enjoy watching other people's channels and their live streams. I just don't get to as often. Because I used to do it all the time. But like I said, summer, work, redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Derek says, I believe Sam will be in Chicago August 5th signing bottles we, and meet and greet. No, I'm mad. And I told Holden that I could totally go and still make it to the party you have to go to by dinner. And he said no. Party starts at two. He's signing bottles at one, and it's a four-hour drive. Do the math. Yes, but it's only a two-hour drive from Appleton. Uh, juniper and cedar are the same type of trees. Just two names for it. Depends on where you live, what you call it. Out in Colorado or Utah, it would be juniper. In New York, it's cedar. Yeah, we call it cedar. Yeah, cedar for sure. I feel like it's weird being called juniper, but I didn't know um, it was a tree. I thought it was a bush. We're going to use the rest of that for your French 75. That's um, it? This is what I well, get? No, I'm just not going to drink all that so I don't get hammered. I haven't eaten anything tonight. Whose fault is that? Dwarves. Yours. You didn't offer me any of your cheesy breads. I did. Okay, now we move on to tequila. How does this song go? Um, how does this song go? No, how does this, the, the sound go? Um, I don't know. I don't even know. But anyway, so yeah, we got the tequila here. Um, Hanging AZ says, sipping on gin and juice, laid back. That's a country song. <laughs> Did you just say that's a country song? It is, it's in a country song. And you sang it just like I was sung in the song. Why? What is it? Is it a rap song too? Good fishing in Quebec. Great fishing in Quebec. Indeed, good fishing in Quebec. But it's from Letterkenny. No. Well, then what the heck are you giving that look for? I'm pretty sure it's Snoop Dogg. Literally has a song called "Gin and Juice." Yeah, but and I'm, I'm. But the way you said it, it sounded like the country song. I don't listen to Snoop Dogg. I've never heard the song. It's not the song. It's just a, a lyric in the song. I know, which is I the only part of the song, song I know. I just heard it on the radio. I'm just pretty sure that it's a, it might not even be Snoop Dogg, but I'm pretty sure it's a rap song. Look it. If you roll your eyes at me one more time today, I'm going to kick you off this brand new chair and throw it out the window. That would be not nice. Well, you know what? You know what's not nice? You roll in your eyes. Did you show the people your your shirt? It's I tried, but you were too busy yapping away about something else. So guess what? Nobody can see it. Okay, so anyway, moving on to the El Tequilen, El Tequileño, El Tequilen, El Tequileño, El Tequileño. Um, Joe Dickinson says the country version is by the Gordons. <laughs> the Gordons. Uh, and Peter says, tequila, tequils is, tequils the champ. Tequilas the champ. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Tequils the champs. I don't know, but it'll tequila, yeah, that's for See, sure. That's the song by the champs. I think what you're saying. 
<laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why would To Kills be the song? Okay, yes. Snoop Dogg, but a country band did a cover of it, so you're both correct. High five. That's... That's it. Okay. Then you, you just want an S you, and okay. an S. But you know what you're doing? You're assuming I'm wrong. The, the key Guys, one. it's going to turn into Lauren. Can you play the song? I want to know how the thing goes. Gosh, this show is freaking rowdy all the time. Um, yes. Okay, anyway, back to the... He doesn't even cut back on cars. He doesn't! That guy's a scam. It was an ad! I know. Let's fast forward. We don't have to wait for this part. Oh, yeah. They can't even hear it, so I'll try to watch this. Tequila! Anyway, um... Oh, yes. Peter White put the link in the chat. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. All right. On the nose, this smells like agave. Absolutely agave heavy. Because, want to know why it's 100% agave? It's tequila. Um, it's hard for me to get notes out of tequila. Mainly because it's kind of like super agave sweet. Although I do feel like this has like a little bit of like a... I swear I'm smelling some kind of like cheese. Like... Not in a bad way, not in a what? bad way. Like a, a dry oh. cheese. This is a really, really, really sweet smell. Yeah, it's because it's... Uh, it does smell like cheese, like the cheese yeah. with the powder on the outside. Yes, yes, like a dry cheese. Oh, we got to do a charcuterie board soon. Don't you see how nice it is when someone believes in you? Yeah. Um. Okay, so we got agave, we got cheese. Maybe a little bit of a spice in there, but... But now we're gonna get on the palette. Ooh, it's not my favorite tequila. That's for sure. Although I almost never drink tequila straight. It feels like it has like a bit of a savory flavor in it. I want to say well, it's not. It reminds me of like I've never had mezcal. And obviously this isn't as, I'm pretty sure mezcal is way more aggressive, but this gives me like... I'll tell you what, it's better than the tequila mezcal that I get poured down my throat at parties. Yeah, because when you sip on something, it tastes 10 times better than when you chug it. When you do a shot, that's literally the worst way to drink something because it makes it okay, way harder to I'm drink. I'm always doing Blanco shots. That's true, and Blanco's Blanco less good. Blanco hurts me. This is a um, Respado, I believe. Yes. Uh, sorry. A resposado. Resposado. Double wood resposado. Um, hand selected, limited batch release. 100% agave. Rested in American and French oak. So that is. That is the gist of the tequila. Um, it would be interesting to taste one of these other guys's. It tequila would be interesting to, see how different to it try, is from yeah, a tequila like, from like, Antonio. I think Sainz. this is just Sainz. this guy's, and then Sassanac picked a barrel because no. it's the Sassanac Select. Maybe that's why it's limited. Is I think what it is. They don't sell that anymore. I feel like we need to tell the people that we didn't go out and buy three expensive bottles. Of yeah, these aren't cheap. No, we but didn't. These aren't our parents. Ours. Yeah, shout out to Derek and Robin. Who? Um, and we're just borrowing them. But we need to slow down on this freaking gin because I like gin and this one's not. Yeah, Peter, we did. That's what we were I listening it to. Up. It's just hard to hear. Holden just doesn't listen. To she that. decided to uh, um watch a live band performance from eighteen fifty six. That is what showed up. <laughs> I'm gonna pull all of your inner fibers out tonight. Uh, uh, mezcal smoky and sweet. Yeah, I mean that's what I've heard as well. Um, and this, I feel like this has a hint of like a smoky savoryness along with some sweetness, which is why well, I'm kind that of like. Just be from the barrel, though. Yes and no, but like I've had um, an añejo, which is a much heavier barrel-aged tequila. Age. Yeah, and it's 
it's sweet. It's bur the barrel gives sweetness, which is like bourbony. Yeah, which this is, why is just a select. The Sassanus Select was handcrafted with finest miniature agave from the highlands of Hal Jalisco. I've never been there, so I don't know. Jalisco. Is that how you say it? Jalisco. And mineral rich water from the Volcan de Tequila. Tequila. Distilled in copper pots and American aged barrels. So, what makes this Highland? Um, the Highlands of Jalisco. Yeah, but it says from the Highlands of Scotland. Oh, okay. So they're just saying like we normally are in the Highlands of Scotland, but today we went to the Highlands of Jalisco. Wow. Jalisco. Now you know. Now you, the more you know. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, yeah, so we've tried the gin, we tried the tequila, uh, and now we're going to drink the scotch, probably the one that everyone on this channel is probably most interested about because it's probably the one that you guys are most likely going to buy. Now, these aren't cheap. This is $100. But now my parents didn't buy it for that much money. What's this? Hundred dollars? I think I think look, they were all hundred dollars. No, right? my parents bought these. I think when they were still cheap, because this was not didn't used to be expensive. I don't think they spent that much money on it. I think they spent like still a chunk of money, but I don't think it was as. Expensive. I'm pretty sure my mom said that the price went. Wow. But I don't want to drink it all if it's expensive. Um. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so this is. A blended Scotch whiskey coming in at 46% alcohol. Um, that is 92 proof, and it is just called the Sassanac, the original Sassanac blended Scotch whiskey. Do you think he's gonna come out with more? I bet he comes out with one called Fraser's Ridge, and it's a bourbon. Can you just call it Fraser's Ridge. Fraser's Ridge. I am going to stick a wet Q-tip inside your ear. Why would you because do that? Because you wouldn't like it, and you're upsetting me today. Oh, okay, so this is a lot more my speed. This is definitely Highland Scotch, but I feel like it has some hints of, um, I don't want to say bourbon notes, but it, it's sweet. It's like, I know Highland Scotches are usually sweet, but this kind of has a little bit of like a darker sweetness to it. It still has like light fruitiness, um, maybe like apples and pears, uh, but it also has like some oak and a bit of spice in there. Not a whole lot but some and a little bit of a caramely vanilla -y, um aspect in there so i've had a, i have had a few highland scotches in my day um just a few just a few and this one does smell good is it my turn so let me get a sip and i'll hand it over why don't i get a turn well it doesn't smell like smoke so i like that You know what? That's very good. I should have put some chapstick on because it burnt really, really That's, bad. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm saying this is really good, but I know I'm not even being biased here because honestly, that's it tasted like cotton candy. I think. Or bubble, no, it tasted like bubble gum. I don't know. It tasted like some kind of candy, and I'm fucking here for it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what it tasted like, but <laughs> it was it was super sweet, and it tasted like candy. Which, again, celebrity whiskey probably tailored toward a bunch of um, females who don't drink whiskey. Well, you have to think. all the, A bunch of people who are buying this, or these, are these horny ladies who sit around watching Outlander, and then, you watch it too. Yeah, but I'm not a horny lady. I'm not a horny man either. I guess you guys are wondering, it doesn't work. I'm just kidding. It works just fine. It just doesn't happen very often. No, that sounds worse. It works fine. I'm just always tired. That doesn't. There's no good way to say it. If I don't have time to make it work properly, then I don't have time to watch other people's live streams. We were talking about getting him a balloon pump the other day. But I wouldn't need it. Oh my goodness. I don't understand. Oi. Sorry, it's funny. 
You make people think that I'm some kind of blue pill pop and son of a bitch. You said you were going to pop the pill. That's why we were talking about the balloon pump. When did I say that? In the oh, park. you had asked if I got old and stopped working when I was Yeah. Doing. What would you do? What would I do? Anyway, I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah. Mm. Okay, everybody, so, um, very good. Kind of candy, a little bit of malt, actually, on the back end there, um, which I do like a good maltiness. I like malt, so what can I say? Um, now, before we get too far, I just want to... So, scotches don't get really high proof, though, right? They're usually They can, proof. but they're usually low. Okay. They're usually so lower proof than bourbon. a lower chance of him coming out with a higher proof scotch. Correct. Okay. Correct. But that's, but, like, there's a decent chance he could come out with a bourbon because... He does also does bourbon, which could be higher or no. What do you think? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if he'd come out with a bourbon. I think maybe he would come out with an American whiskey or a um, bourbon style whiskey, but I don't think it can actually be bourbon if it's not. In America, I know, but that's so, the thing. but I mean, like, you could do a bourbon mash bill, possibly, but it would still be Scot Scottish whiskey. Oh, but what I'm asking is that if he, because this stuff is imported, assassin experience in Man Manhasset, New York. So if he made it in New York. Wait, it's made in New York? No, it's made in Scotland. It's imported to Manhasset, Manhasset, New York. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. But, guys, I got two new bottles, and now you interrupted me, so there's less people here. So they're not going to get to see what I got. I purposely did it when there were more people in here. I'm always just fucking talking. For once, why are you? What's wrong with you? Why would you try to tip me over? You I did. Die? Oh, I could have hit my head on my. the wall. Oh my gosh. But oh you're my gosh. Away. You don't get the Guys, minutes. I got two awesome bottles and I just want to like whip them out and just have you guys be jealous because I got <laughs> Shanks and Bomb Burgers, baby. Both in the same store at retail. $99 a pop. You paid $200 for whiskey after lowering the hours at your job? Um, yes. What's wrong with you? I made three hundred dollars on a couch. I'm anyway, yes, so I got these two awesome bad boys, but those are for next week's live stream. So unfortunately, I don't get a bust into them yet. But beer says uh, seems to be a hefty price for that Sass Night blended scotch. Yes. Yeah. Now, I don't know. now I swear, my parents said they didn't pay that much for it when they first got it. That's what I'm asking. But they clearly aren't here anymore because nobody's answering my question. Yeah. Robin. Derek. Where are you guys? Um, Peter White says, Tater scores. Almost. I Actually, it wasn't a drawing to win um, Blanton's Gold. I didn't win. Um, Joe says, Stop buying more bottles. You don't even have a shelf. That, if that's not the truest statement I've ever heard... Uh, Thing is, I'm trying to finish the basement so I don't have to buy a shelf for up here. I can just go ahead and put them all downstairs right away. Just taking longer than expected. So, there's that. Um, Peter says, I have a 2022 Bomb Burgers. Um, is it open? Have you tried it? Is it good? I've heard very good things about Bomb Burgers and Shanks. So, that's why I bought them both. And they're extremely hard to find. Only 2,800 bottles made per, I think. So, But are we making cocktails now? We are making cocktails now. So, that being said, we're going to do a French 75 with the gin. We're going to do a uh, you know Scottish what? margarita. Because they, the make, they go to France in the show. Yes. We're going to do a Scottish margarita with the tequila. And I think I'm either going to do a rusty nail with the scotch, because we got a bottle of Drambouille that I'm going to open up but, and try. But... Did you not see what I sent you? He has a cocktail he wants you to make. 
if you would let me finish my sentence, that was going to be the next thing that came out of my mouth. Honestly, I literally said, but, and I was about to say that, and you interrupted me. I thought you were going to say, but, I'm not sure. No, I'm saying, but, I don't know if I want to do that, or a, um, basically what it is, is, I don't actually know what's all in a rusty nail. Um, I know it's scotch and jambouille and something, but I know that his recipe is scotch, jambouille, and dry vermouth. Um, so it very well could just be a rusty nail. Stop! What is your deal? You keep knocking me and I'm leaning on the back of the chair. Why are you leaning so because hard? Because I want to be comfortable. Gosh. What a goober. Someone's trying to hurt me. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. <laughs> I'm just trying to drink my drambouille, which I've never had before, so this will be a first for me. Are you going to try it? Yeah. Okay. Um, How hard is it to take the freaking last? Okay, so Drambuie is. Is that how you say it? Say it with an accent. <clears throat> Drambuie. No, wait. Whoa. Oh. Give me some more than like verbally. Drambuie. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> Stop looking at me like that. Give me your last and pour me a little bit of this Drambuie. I don't even know. Don't um, anyway, so Drambuie is aged scotch, whiskey, heather, honey, herbs, and spices. Oh, it's just scotch and Drambuie. Oh, it smells like scotch gin, literally. Mm, I don't know. It well, like it's gin. more scotchy than ginny and a, more spicy than a gin is. But yeah, and it's a liqueur, so... It's going to be sweet. Probably has some sugar in it. Um, Derek says the whiskey was around $80. Had a coupon, so minus 10% plus free shipping. So it's $20 cheaper. Still good, but if you compare it to, like, Brothers Bond, which is still pretty steep for, like, an 80-proof whiskey, this is higher proof, and it is really good. But, like, Brothers Bond is only 40. Country, though. Yes, that is what costs usually the most. Um, Peter says, I've tried it before. This one's closed in case... Um, someone offers me something better. If not, it gets opened. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Abino says, what is that Zambia? <laughs> what? Um, what is a rusty nail is just a scotch and drambuie. So I'll probably not do that. I'll probably do the one that Sam Hewen, um, made, which is called the Sassanac. It's an actual drink. It's Sassnack something or another. Hold on, I will find it. So Lauren will find I'm it. I'm the Just one that prepared here. for this freaking live stream. That's uh, that's a that's a downright lie. The Sassnack Old Pal. The Sassnack Old Pal, uh, which is one two parts Scotch, one part dry vermouth, and one part Campari. So, um, which I'm assuming. Well, let me see his club. Well, that is like that in a fancy cup, but he just put it in a rock. I'm assuming it's, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna make it in the glass. Um, it's gonna be easier to make in glass. So let me just set these off to the side here. And first we'll make Lauren's French 75 so she can get drunk and stop yelling at me. Um, I still yell when I'm drunk. That's, that, that ain't the gosh darn truth. I don't know what is. I'm gonna snap you. <laughs> um, French 75, what do we need? Uh, bubbly, lemon juice, gin, correct? And simple syrup. And simple dip. What? What? Okay. Is that one shaking? Yeah. No, it's not because as we dry shaking without the. I don't know anything. And then rolled, maybe. What's a roll? I don't know. Just give me a second. I don't know anything, guys. I'm just ready to alcohol it up. Who is texting me? Wow. Wow. What did you say you needed? Lemon. Lemon, gin. Gin, simple syrup, and champagne. And we'll need a triple sec later, which doesn't have much. And we'll need dry vermouth later. Guys, this is what you get when you come watch the bourbon bar. Two people. You're just gonna be sitting here waiting for my drink to be poured. My drink, my cup is always empty. So unprofessional on this channel. 
the friggin' Lauren show. I try to be to be prepared, but Holden never is prepared. I am always prepared. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm gonna get some ice. And Prosecco. You can't shake that though, it's bubbly. I know, you have to roll it. I don't know what that means. You would almost think this was my shelf. So if I'm the only one here. And I was yelling at me for not talking like I'm not talking. He's gonna get his ass kicked tonight after I have like six of these. I told him to be prepared too. And he didn't listen. Who is here? Peter says that that's a better price than what I saw. I told you it increased. Honey, herbs, and spices exactly like someone mixed gin and scotch. Okay, so Holden's not crazy. And Lauren needs help. I do need help. Because Holden Wait, doesn't help me. Did they just say I'm right about something? Yes. Trader Gage says that it's herbs, honey, herbs, and spices. Exactly like someone mixed scotch and gin. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready for my drink. Okay. What can you use that one? You were the one that said that. This is probably colder. How? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I really thought I'd have a drink by now. My ice is melting. Like, what is he doing in there? I don't understand. I don't understand. This is awkward. Okay, everybody. We're, we're still here. Don't leave us. You're barely here. You know what? Hey, this is... Okay, it says California Champagne. It can't be Champagne if it's not from Champagne, France. This one has notes of raspberry and honey. Raspberry and honey. Um, I don't know if we... I don't know if we should open it right away because it's not the easiest thing to get it out of that um, out of that fridge. What? You think I shook it too much? How long would I have to sit in order to not spill? I don't know. That's why you have the towel. If it spills, it spills on you. <laughs> and then we all laugh. <laughs> Do you remember that time we were drinking beer and I was doing something and my beer flew out of my cup and onto the table? <laughs> so no one's laughing at my joke. I'm scared. Why are you, why do you have your hand down there? Oh, is it a chest tap? Yeah. Oh, that makes it easy. Yeah. You guys really come on here to watch me open the... We come on here to watch Holden struggle. Yeah. And it makes us all laugh. Mm -hmm. I feel popular. I'm getting a lot of text messages today. I'm concerned and scared. Why are you getting so many text messages? Why are you so popular? Oh, nice. It didn't even pop. Well, it didn't have a popper. Huh? It didn't have a yeah, popper. these still pop sometimes, though. Do they? Yeah. Okay, so first, we're gonna have to go with, you got the recipes up? You're supposed to know this crap. We, uh, I don't have I a recipe for the 75. Did you bring a knife in here? I, no. I did bring a knife. Where is it? In here. I brought a knife. When? When we freaking moved and you put it inside the kitchen? Did you bring a cutting board? Why would we need a cutting board? Because you're going to ruin the table. It's not going to cut it on the table. Goofy. First of all, we'll start with your garnish. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe we should have made your drink first. This would have been easier for you to be embarrassed when we're all laughing at you. Look at all the oils that are coming off of this thing. I can't see. I still don't see anything. Really? Okay, well, we have. Oh, 
smells sour in my nose. We have garnish. And now we're gonna need some lemon juice in here. So, get the recipe up. I don't have a recipe for this. You're supposed to know how to make them. I thought the first recipe you had was a French 75. No. Oh my gosh, look at all the oil on the skin. Oh wow. I want some fresh lemon. Ooh, it's squirting at you. Nice. All right. So, lemons in there. Honestly, I feel like. You just got to. I have a strainer, don't worry about it. No, I'm going to die from arsenic poisoning. Arsenic poisoning? That's what's inside of lemon seeds. Why is making drinks so messy? Why are you acting so surprised that I know something? Can I just start squirting shit in here? Do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Small size quarter. Why is he just assuming that he knows everything? Okay, what's next? Now we're gonna go two ounces of gin. Oh, how am I supposed to measure it out if you already put some in there? Honestly, what the heck? Let's go with an ounce and a half. Why? Because you already added some. Yeah, but it was a dribble. You see him skipping on my alcohol? What kind of fucking bar is this? The bourbon bar. Bourbon bar skimps on alcohol here. All right, so now we shake it. Okay, now we add a little bit of. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you add it to here and then you pour yeah, it. Yeah, I'll do up. that. I'm just worried that too much ice melted. There's a floater. You know what it's from? The Lemon. seed. Top it off with Prosecco. Oh, it's or, changing colors. This isn't Prosecco, this actually. This is blush. Oh, oh, normally they're yellow. I feel like we did something wrong. It's pink blush. Normally we're using sh normal champagne. Hold on. The lemon twist you can put. Oh, I want to stir it in because it's all liquor at the bottom. And... Oh, you're not supposed to stir it. Why? I don't want to get a shot of shit. What are you Frickin doing? Freaking garnish. That was sad. That was like the sad. Don't stick your finger in there. Okay, and so now we have a French 75. How is it? Not as good as I remember them being. I remember them being like sour. So she remembers this being sour. Oh, uh, for a second there, I kind of forgot we were last year in. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I honestly. Guys, this garnish is throwing me off. Is it this? You're not going to love that. It smells horrible. Guys, this stupid ass, cheap ass champagne ruined my drink. Lauren always complains about the champagne, but never pays a good price for anything. I like the barefoot bubbly champagne. I got barefoot bubbly. Yeah, and you said you wanted to use that one because it was older. No, I said I wanted to use this one because I thought maybe you would like it more because you said you don't <gasps> like Prosecco. Why do people do this stupid shit? I don't know, but that being said, it's time for me to make my cocktail. So I am going um, one ounce of one ounce of Sassanac scotch. Is there lemon juice in here? No. no. Okay. 
Then we're going with a half an ounce of jambouille and a half an ounce of dry vermouth. Are you gonna try that by itself first? Okay. <laughs> what was that? This. You should try this straight. And last but not least. What if I just. Oh, I kind of like it. It's kind of like a black licorice, but not like in a bad way. Oh, I thought it it's tasted kind of like, like apples, like apple cinnamon. It's definitely cinnamony. Then we got the dry vermouth in the glass. You did something wrong. Why? It's red. This is not red. Yes, you're right. That's because I accidentally just poured sweet vermouth in the glass. Dry vermouth is white. Sweet vermouth. It's supposed to be red. Wait, sweet vermouth is red. I'm so confused. What is the recipe? This is red too. What is the recipe? Dry Crampari. Motherfucker. There's none of that shit in there. Wait, what is? why did I add vermouth? There is vermouth. It's vermouth and Campari. <laughs> what the fuck is it? This is my new cocktail, every <laughs> Hold it. Why are you start things? I have a third knife. <laughs> I hate us so much. Why me? I didn't do anything wrong. Ow, my nipple. Honestly, it smells... It smells good. It does smell good. Um, wow. Uh, we already did those. Oh, okay. We're down um, with the apples. Honey herb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that something is in lemon seeds. Our snake is in apple seeds. I've swallowed so many seeds. I hope not. Um, thanks, Bino. Thanks for being here. All right, so on my drink, my failed attempt at literally everything. It's a bad day for holding. This is why we don't live stream on Thursdays. Honestly, though, you still like it. Tell me that's not good. You didn't like that? It kind of tastes like raisins. It does kind of taste like raisins a little bit. I like raisins. Okay, get another cup. <laughs> if you take the sweet vermouth out of the picture. Um, it, it really is just a rusty nail. And Derek says we'll call this new drink the Molden. I agree. We should. Yeah. Uh, I have a cramp, guys. Yeah. Now I need to go get another freaking ice cube. Oh. Oh. oh! Why don't you just take that one and put it in here? God. You already dug your fingers in the cup. We will call the new drink the Holden. I just read that. I'll have take a hold in. I'll take a hold in. A tall glass of hold in. I have a hold in. And she doesn't even want them. I will pinch every single squishy part of your body. I got you a cup. Yeah, but I have to spin. But it's got an age for human. It's a big cup though. Oh, that's the same size as that cup. Okay, we're using the H cup for Hewen and Holden. Speaking of, where the hell is Casey tonight? Honestly. He hasn't been here for weeks. So I know. Like no, he does. He's golfing with me tomorrow. <laughs> Probably working though. Okay, let's try this again now that we've wasted an ounce of um, $100 whiskey. One ounce of Sassanac Scotch. Ooh! I didn't spill. Why don't you do that for my drinks? Oh, uh, oh, uh, that was like seven dollars you just dripped. That is bullshit. Bullshit, I say. Okay, so wait, I need a Campari too. Oh my Hold goodness. in! Why can't I ever do this right? Honestly, this is why the people watch this. They like to know that I'm they such like a big. They like to watch you fuck up. They like to know that I'm such a big failure that they can go home and feel better. Joe says the strip sounds disgusting. Make margaritas. We are getting there. That's what the tequila is going to be is a Scottish margarita. What am I looking for? Campari? Campari! The fuck's my Campari? I don't know. 
Oh, I found it. Um, actually, look at your look at your look at your margarita recipe. I think margarita had ginger and bouillon. It did. That's why I had said to you. You know what? At least I tried a version of a rusty nail. Holden drives me crazy. What the fuck's in my ice? Please don't tell me that's a fly. No, it's not. It's just like something. It could have been in your cup too. It's just like a piece of wood or something. Yeah, okay. It's a piece of wood. But See, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually less excited to try this one because Campari is not my favorite thing. Oh, in the and world. you gotta squeeze an orange on top. Squeeze an orange on top or orange zest? The orange squeezing. Garnish with an orange. I'll do that. Um, what else did I need? Dry vermouth. All right. I need, I also need new vermouths. Ooh, this dry vermouth smells good. Okay. So here we have the Sassnack Old Old Pal. Sassnack Old Pal. Let I me. Mean, where's the stir? Squeeze it the other way. It works better if you squeeze it the long way. Yeah, like that. You gotta go right above the glass. Ooh, a crunchy. Those are mandarin oranges, so that you will eat them. By the way. Hold on. Let me stir up before you put it in there. Careful. This is very delicate work. I did better than you. My garnish at least. The Sassnack Old Pal. Honestly, it smells like mandarin oranges because of the oils. Oh, yeah. These are the biggest freaking mandarin oranges I've ever seen in my life. It's like the size of my head. Is it good? Is it bad? <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot of flavors going on. You're not gonna like it. it's bitter. It's Campari's just bitter. There's a lot of flavors going on in there. Is there not like a Is lot? That what Scottish people drink. The no, Scottish people drink this. It needs like a splash of sugar. <laughs> it needs drambuie. Is what it needs. I I've I've not, I've yet to find a drink that no, I like that no, has Campari. No, I mean something with Cantorino was good. I forgot what it was called. Oh, that was Aperol. Huh? Yeah, that was Aperol. But that was really good. Yeah. This isn't bad, but this is the equivalent of a Boulevarder, isn't it? Because, okay, uh, okay, okay. Hear me out. A, um, um, with Prosecco in it, um, with the, with the girl from uh, House of the Dragon. Amelia Clark? House of the oh. Dragon. Uh, a Negroni. A Negroni, Spagliato. Yeah, so a Negroni is Campari with a gin. And then a Boulevarder is Campari in bourbon. So this is like the Scottish Boulevarder, I guess. Um, except for the vermouth. I don't think... Maybe... I don't know. I'm confused. Are you going to eat that right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep drinking my rusty. No, make the margarita. I'm gonna drink my rusty vermouth now. Make the margarita. Joe Dickinson's gonna leave. Joe, don't leave us. Don't do it. Um. Yes. Do call the drink the Holden. I. The drink sounds disgusting. Make margarita. <gasps> oh my gosh! I just thought of such a good idea. What'd you think of? A TikTok idea, and you can say the accidental cocktail. The accidental cocktail. It's not bad. It's really not Nobody bad. Nobody said it was bad. I know, but Joe says it sounded disgusting. Joe just wants you to make a damn margarita. If I go to the burn room, can Dave make me a Holden? You know what? Yes, I'll give him the recipe. You know what we can do? We can give it to them so it can be one of Christmas cocktails. They can put glitter in it. Maybe. Um, I think it's time to start a GoFundMe for a liquor show. I'll gladly take donations. All you guys even have to do is just subscribe to my Patreon. Literally, yeah, you can just, on there. You, 
Uh, I used to a lot more often. You know often. what? When I meet Sam Hewen on the 5th, I'll post a video and I'll post something. And then Crony, Spagliato. Maybe I'll take my Let's shirt off. Let's open it. Peter. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and Yes, maybe you should take your shirt off. Maybe he'll want to come over then. But time to make the old margarita. Don't worry, I'll get the rest built for you. That was juicy. Oh my god. That was really juicy. Okay, bust out the lime. So, in this margarita, I need new ice and a rinse rinse of the cups. They are beyond. So how much lime juice do we need? Uh, a half an ounce? Or one whole lime, maybe. Okay, cut the lime, but I don't have a cut. What the heck did you think I was going to do with this? Did you tell me to get it? Oh, I'm so confused. So confused. All he does, it doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to squeeze it into another glass. Okay. The ice is in the glass. Oh. Okay, what are you doing here? Um, I was doing this because you ran away with my cup. Ow! <sighs> You're sitting on my These leg. These chairs squish. You can't be under my chair. Why is your chair on top of my leg? You're under my chair. I've been sitting in the same Hold spot. Scoot These over. chairs squish. I haven't moved my chair. I can't. Scoot. I have to be in the frame. Ow, oh, you're hurting me. Oh my goodness. High maintenance, guys. I tell you what. I'm high maintenance. Oh yeah. I'm the high maintenance one. Oh Hold yeah. Hopefully I get fucking whacked in the head after this freaking live stream. Sat on my leg and then blamed me. Only because it was her fault. Enjoyed that. Okay, so now we are making a Scottish margarita starting with two ounces of our El Tequileño. El Tequileño Tequila. You can go ahead and cork that for me. No, I said cork it. I can't it because you put this in front of there. Okay, keep it on the drink mat. You need you put it in the worst spot and then you yell at me. Okay. It's gonna get now nasty. we're doing half an ounce of Drambui, which I thoroughly actually enjoy. Very glad I bought it, even if it was thirty-six dollars. Wait. Thirty-six dollars. I put it in the wrong side. Mm. Maybe I'll make that drink taste better. <laughs> All right, half an ounce of Drambuie, and we got a half an ounce of premium orange liqueur, and I don't know anything more premium than Arrow. <laughs> um, it probably wants me to use like Cointreau or something, mm -hmm. but I don't have Cointreau yet, so half an ounce of triple sec. And last but not least, we have to go in with a half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime. And if this isn't freshly squeezed, then you guys are lying, liming. <laughs> You're so funny, that's why I'm marrying you. I probably only needed half of a lime. Uh, that is in the glass. Now, we shake it up. Did you save a, a, a well, wedge? Of course not, why would you? All right, cup in, lock it tight. Because the chair has squish. You're on the lowest, like you're all the way down, so your chair's bottomed out. But like mine squishes. Are you calling me fat? No, you so have I bottomed out my chair. Do you know something? Look at our freaking desk right now. They can hardly see us. <laughs> it's like a freaking birthday party for a five-year-old. 
What the fuck? What makes these drinks for five-year-olds? No, I'm saying because it's so colorful up there. <laughs> okay. One margarita. Coming right up. Give me one margarita. Okay. No, margarita glass, please. Mother. Mm. Oh, actually, no, that's not big enough. Stop, you're gonna break something. All right, so we have El Margarita. Full of water spots, because I don't like drying in this house. What margarita looks at? It's in front of the cup. Huh? I, have orange in my I really should have used this coupe glass. Can I switch glasses? No, because I'm going to have to wash two cups. Let's be honest, you ain't going to wash shit. You ain't going to wash shit either. Okay. <laughs> Why does Joe hate us? Liquor Camp says, just jumped on. What have I missed? That looks to be a lot of bottles. Oh, love it. Yes, this is a lot. I'm going to clean this shit up. Um, this is like the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. No. This is not good. Is it bad? This is not good at all. Joe says, and never mind, this crappy margarita sounds even worse. This is like the only one that I've made tonight that is actually like ounce for ounce to correct what it's supposed to be. Oh, it, it doesn't smell good. It actually doesn't smell good at all. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put that in the no column. One margarita and she gave me some head. Two margaritas and a... I thought another good shot. The Bad Cocktails. Oh, yes. We could feature a lot of these on the Bad Cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Anything we've made here at the Bourbon Bar can be featured on the Bad Cocktails. Uh, 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 uh. My Aperol Spritz uh, 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 Elmo's World. I don't know why that sounded like that, but I'm going to clear some of this shit up. Oh, to be fair, my friend, Chili Pie would have been better mm, if we be this champagne. That's true. That champagne is pretty garbage. All right, so. I think that our overall opinion. Actually, though, that champagne kind of reminds me of New Year's. I'm not sure why. That's because they buy the gross champagne at New Year's. They buy champagne champagne at New Year's. No. Anyway, uh, I think we can safe to say that all these are very good. Before, before you mix them <laughs> in anything. But Just you know kidding. what? Also, that this one was pretty good. Hold it. I worked so hard on that. This rusty nail was good. Um, this would be good if it wasn't for my nasty champagne. Um, this one, the only reason I didn't like it is because I'm not a fan of Campari. Just not my jam. But it's not a bad cocktail, honestly. Yeah, if you liked really bitter stuff, it tasted like tiny. If you like the Boulevard or if even you a Negroni. If you enjoy drinking um, Malort, you probably would think that's really sweet. I don't think anyone enjoys drinking Malort. Someone does. Maybe. I could drink it. I know that that's like, and you feel sophisticated drinking it. That just tells you the cup, I think. No, I know, but like a rusty nail is literally is pretty good. The Holden, the Holden <laughs> is pretty good, but like a rusty nail is literally scotch and then spiced scotch mixed together. Oh, so we should start looking up recipes with that. <gasps> spice? Well, like not all recipes. We didn't put. Oh. Yeah, that's what we're, this is just a margarita with drambouille in it. Okay, but the drambouille is not what made the margarita bad. Something else made that bad. What could it have been? There's nothing. There's How did you use to tequila? make those margaritas? The exact same way tequila, triple sec, lime. Maybe I added simple syrup. No, I don't even think I added simple syrup. It's tequila, triple sec, lime. That's what a margarita is. Uh. Because Holden used to make really good margaritas. I used to add Sprite to my margaritas oh, when I made them for you. Uh, but not Sprite. Why? I used to add some kind of soda. Just a little bit, but I would add a little bit of wash. Like to make it bubbly? 
make it bubbly and make it and thin it out so it wasn't pure alcohol. Because I I think that's how people make them. You make margaritas at Station One, don't you? Shame, 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 shame. Um, Chris Tats says good day, good day, matey, good day. Holden Lauren spelled wrong. Is he from England or something? Why are you looking at me? Do English people say good day? I've never been to England. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Great day for alligator hunting, isn't it? Wait, oh, yeah, I just said a mix between British and Australian, but um, Peter says I only drink old fashions like three to five times a week. Oh, I thought he was gonna say a week. <laughs> um, a year. Easy to make and near impossible to screw up. Screwed up. True. So that's like true. a regular one or the one like we make here. Regular one. Ooh, um, right. and Chris says, "I never say that to an Aussie." I've never met someone from Australia. That's why I told her. I'm like, what freaking British person's like? Good day, governor. <laughs> Fancy a drink in it? It's Tuesday. Good day, governor. I can't tell if you're making fun of people or not. I am making fun of English people because I was like. Tuesday. I mean, like, yeah, like the from England. Oh. Like, it's Tuesday, in it? It's TGIT, thank God it's Tuesday. Maybe like, it should be TGICH. You, like, you, you sound like Ron Weasley. Not you, not Hermione. Wait, no, no, not me, not Hermione, you. Yeah. It's so unattractive. I agree with you. I'm not, I'm not saying it is If you were British, I would have dated you. Why wouldn't you date me, Governor? I probably wouldn't be this hot. That's true. Okay, we are live streaming here. This isn't a pornographic website. For that, you guys can go ahead and visit my OnlyFans at TheBourbonBar.com. Joel said there's not, a tornado! That's not bad, it's just sour. Um, a Brit equals... Tuesday. It's Tuesday, ain't it? You gotta boil a lot. Why are you like some sort of tight? It's not like Tuesday. You gotta give me a bottle of water, please. What Why not? I'm time? drinking a bottle of water because it's Tuesday, ain't it? <laughs> it's Tuesday, ain't it? And I wouldn't want to drink a bottle of water. Stop! I'm not gonna look at you the same. <laughs> uh, Jordan says, damn it, now there's a tornado here. Well, you know what, Joe? Grab your bourbon, go downstairs, and then if you have time, go back up and get your wife and bring her down there too. Wouldn't you're gonna die in on her lap? <laughs> that is so mean, isn't it? I'm so mean, isn't it? Anyway, it's just kidding. It's probably like a Scottish accent, but you're making things. I do Scottish accents more than I do British. I never do British. Do the Scottish accent. I don't want to do it now. You always put me on the spot like this. Please, for my birthday. You sold me a present from last month. She got mad because I didn't buy her a half birthday present. Sugar Candy specifically said that if I want a present, you should buy me a present. I bought you flowers. Oh, yeah, I did. Well, for my birthday. Yeah, then it was for your birthday. It wasn't. You told me it was just early. Candy. I am going to pinch everything. Okay. That being said, we are an hour and 18 minutes in. Kind of a shorter live stream today, but you know how it is. We um, had 12 bottles arrived from the U.S. Yeah, Chris says the delivery of 12 bottles arrived from the U.S. So Chris, what is Chris's that's channel? awesome. Huh? What's Chris from? Have I met Chris before? Yeah, Chris has been on here. I can't remember sometimes when I drink too much. Here. Um, Chris, I also got new bottles. Yes. Look at, look at them. Look at them. Um, but what bottles did you get? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Twelve is a lot, uh, so you don't have to put them all in there. But if there's some cool ones, I'm just, like very interested to hear what you got. Um, my mom and dad came over for the first time um, since we basically bought the house yesterday, and she bought me a bottle of Woodford Reserve as a housewarming gift. And she got Lauren a bottle of wine, red wine. Um, 
Sugar Kitty says, just slap him first, don't ask questions, and then remind him he forgot to buy you a present. You forgot to buy me a present! I forgot to buy me a present! Skibble! Do you know what else? Holden didn't cook dinner today. He said, oh, I didn't give me a I made her dinner on, I was about to say Tuesday, Monday. I made curry, and guess what? The leftovers that I was going to eat for lunch the next day at work, someone else got to eat them instead. Guess what? The other day, I cut up pineapple, and I put a big container in the fridge for Holden, and a little one for me. No. And what did he take? The little one that I wanted. She had two little ones. No. The one was one of your big ones, and I had a little one for myself. And you could have taken the big one and eaten some out of it, because but you I were working from home. But I am nicer than you. I wasn't working from home. I was in fucking Nina. Working. I was pissed off. Let's just say that. I didn't have any breakfast. Okay, so I think we should actually give an honest review on this um, margarita. One margarita and she gave me some head. Two margarita and she gave me the bit. What is it? I don't know how that's. Give me goes. one margarita. I'm gonna give you some head. Give me two margarita. Wait. Give me one margarita. I'm gonna give you some head. Okay, give me one margarita. I'll give you some head. And give me a bit. Give me two margaritas. It's just. Hold on. I the sourness it. of a margarita, because margarita is kind of like sour and tangy, it does not mix Wait, with it, a scotch. Give me one margarita, I'm going to open my legs. Give me two margaritas, I'm going to give you some head. Give me three margaritas, I'm going to put it in my puss. Give me four margaritas. No, way. I'm going to put it in my tush. <laughs> give me one margarita. I'm going to open my legs. Give me two margaritas. I'm going to give you some head. Give me three margaritas. I'm going to... Okay, it's like this. Give me... It just disappeared. Okay. Give me one margarita. I'm going to open my legs. Give me two margaritas. I'm going to give you some head. Give me three margaritas. I'm going to put it in my tush. Give me four margaritas. I'm going to put it in my tush. Give me five margaritas. I'm going to have some fun. Give me... Five margaritas and I'll put it in your bum. I'm never okay, getting. More. <laughs> I'm never getting past four margaritas. Four margaritas is the cutoff. In case anyone's wondering, that's how it is. Um, Sugar says the important duty on twelve bottles is the import duty. <laughs> he said duty. Uh, the import duty on twelve bottles is probably Morgan's payment right there. You're not wrong. Um. Yep, same as in Ontario, just double the cost of the bottle and it's doing in Ontario. Alberta, for some reason, will just look the other way. So you're saying move to Alberta. Uh, okay, so I have, there's so many drinks in front of us right now. I think you guys should come over and help us finish these. I think you should slam one of them. I haven't eaten anything. I know, I like when you're drunk. She tries to get me drunk and take advantage of me. Someone should call... PETA. Because I'm an animal. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm an animal and she's taking advantage. Yeah, that was funny. Come on, that was funny. That was funny, right? No. They would, if it, we had a live audience, I feel like I would have got a laugh from that. Her shirt says, I like my Scots on the rocks. Or he, she, it says, I like my Scotch on the rocks. And it's a, a picture, picture of, of Jamie, Jamie leaning, on a rock. leaning on rocks, and he's Scottish, so he's 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 the he's Scot Scottish in real life. Yeah, you think he does men and kills because he's not Scottish? I know, but what if he's just really immersed in the culture? I'm not sure. I just want to know what Chris Tass got for twelve bottles of whiskey, but I don't think he's in here anymore. Chris, come back, I'm ready please. To be done, though. I know, me too. Um, I was just waiting for him to answer, but I don't think he's going to. No, Peter says, uh, "I have lived through ten Alberta winters. No more. No more. No more. All right. But that being said, I think it's time to wrap this thing up. Um, we have a copious amount of alcohol in front of us that Lauren's not going to drink any of. To be honest, to I'm be fair, to be fair." No, she thought that she was going to like oh, that one and that one. Just opening the box. Oh. oh he know yet. So you don't know what you got. Interesting. Interesting. I really want to know. Like, message, I want to stick around. Message Holden on Instagram. If you could, yes, you can message me on Instagram. Um, You could come. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, you could um send me an email, which I think my link's in the description for my email. 
Um, I'm curious. But then again, you could just tell me on Tuesday if you come. Um, I know the time difference is insane, bruh. But, um, well, I, I have like a question. Douche. So, if we had a celebrity on the channel, would we have to be normal? Yes. Well, I mean, no. You could be goofy, but, like, would you want to be like this in front of fucking... I can't be fake. They're going to think I'm boring. I don't want Sam to think I'm boring. Are you trying to get him to marry you or something? Punk? No, but maybe hang out with us in the freeway. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but do you know what I mean? Like, what if, if Ian Summerholder Man, and Paul Man, he would show me up so bad. Ow. If Ian Summerholder and Paul Wesley came on the channel, what would you say to them? I would interview them. Yeah, but that's not fun for me. Well, I mean, I would shoot the shit with them, become their friend, interview them, then invite them to our wedding. And instead of them just sending us money, they would actually come to our wedding and hang out with us. And then it would be a lot of fun. And then I would go into partnership with them. And I would help them make whiskey. Because I'm so talented with my palate. As you guys can tell. Oh my gosh. My advent calendar this year is going to be fucking nuts. What? Nucking fucks. I have like fucking three times as many bottles of it as I had last year. You said that last year. I know, and I still sucked last year. But think of how many fucking bottles I have. And it's not even Christmas yet. Yes, yeah, so but they all have to be stuff from 2023. What no, they mean? don't. Not for the advent calendar. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. For the end of the year blind, it has to be 2023. The advent calendar is all, all whiskeys that You're I not own. You're not going to get any of them, are you? I will get some. I mean, be guessing fucking rye for my Eagle Rare. Now I'm like you go with this. When we hit the October and November, we are going to be doing Mystery Glen a lot. And I'm going to play a game a few times. I'm going to be warming up for the Advent Calendar. You can do that I, and I'm not here. Because the Advent Calendar is a big deal for me. It's very, very difficult. You know what we should do this year? We should film the Advent Calendar in November. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad so idea, lady. We're going somewhere. And, and horrible. Yeah, well, I got a second job um, in November, so I was like, I'm gonna film the advent yeah, but calendar. Yeah, you do like, everything last minute. Just a minute, you were a last minute kind of guy. I mean, maybe I procrastinate a little bit. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Chris Tats says um, three smoke wagons, three four roses barrel strength picks. Ooh. Different recipes or the same recipe? And different smoke wagons or the same What's smoke wagon? What's a Dr. Jellyfinger? That sounds gross. Um, three, four roses, Dr. Jellyfinger, Bourbon Mafia Bix. That's so cool. Like, that's such a cool name. Dr. Jellyfinger. You know okay. what that is? Okay, I'm not letting you touch me after this. <laughs> that's what you think. Disgusting. <laughs> um... And then two new riff bottle and bonds, one new riff malted rye. Oh my gosh, Chris. If you haven't had the malted rye yet, and you might have, very possible. But if you haven't had the malted rye yet, open it right now. It is so, so good. My favorite rye. That what I've is Australian with? I don't know. What is Australian whiskey called? That, I don't know. That I'm unsure of. What is English whiskey called? English whiskey? Fuck, I don't know. English whiskey? Japanese whiskey is called Japanese whiskey. Canadian whiskey is called Canadian whiskey. I know, but that's what I'm asking. It's probably fucking Australian whiskey and, and Japanese whiskey. It's probably just whiskey. You know what French whiskey is called? Probably French whiskey. Oh, I was going to say brandy. Oh, well, brandy's is still grapes, so uh, it's not whiskey. Yeah, but it's the point. No, but whiskey is an umbrella. It has to be a grain alcohol. Thank you, man. I'm going to stick something up this bottle. Um, that's that's not very nice. Chris says it was a charity bottle for, for my brother um, from the Bourbon Mafia who passed away from colon cancer. Okay. Um, still a super cool name, but in a much more somber tone. What? I think he's saying his brother. Yes, his brother, Dr. Jellyfinger, because... In know. reference to the doctor sticking their finger in your ass to check for colon cancer, no. his brother passed away from colon cancer. 
Dr. Jellyfish. I don't think they stick your finger up you for colon cancer. That's prostate cancer. Colon cancer is like a colonoscopy. I think they only stick the camera up there if they feel something wrong. Like, I think they do the fingers, and then if they feel no, something, they'll stick a camera. Hold it. Hold it. Please stop. Okay, he answered my question. Ozzy whiskey is just called good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is it is it really good? Is it better than what you call it? Also, Chris, have you had new riff rye or malted rye before? I want to know. I want to know because I put new riff in my end of the year blind last year. I had 25 bottles. I had freaking Parker's Heritage. I've had a bunch of Booker's, Wild Turkey Masters Keep, Old Fitz 19 year. I had a bunch of really fucking good hitters on that list last year. And new riff came in at like fucking six or four or something stupid. It was really good. I'm just saying, um, it's very good. Uh, I got a New Rift Blue Claridge. Incredible. New Rift, they do, like, they do some great things. Um, Lauren's correct, rectal exam is prostate. Well, I knew what a prostate exam was. I actually told her, was it you that I told what a prostate exam was? That you did get your finger in the ass? Do you really think that I didn't know what that was? Maybe, yeah, you probably did. Because you're obsessed with trying to stick your finger on the No, butt. because I took a bunch of medical classes and I thought I wanted to be a physical therapist. But I was talking to a group of women recently. Maybe it was my cousins and Who stuff. Who were you talking to? It might have been my cousins and my sister. They didn't know that guys have to get a finger in their ass. I really, really, really find it hard to believe that I know, I know, 100%. 100%. I was in a room, it had to be in at least three or four different girls that didn't know what a prostate exam was and that you had to get a finger in the butt. I'm 90% I'm sure it was my cousins and my sister. Do you know what they do to women? Yes, they squish their boobs down to pancakes. Okay, do you know what they do to young women? They make you sit your edge on the very end of this little freaking table with the freaking legs up in the fucking air and their head in there. They take a crank that looks like a freaking duck. Oh yeah, and, and they, they crank, crank it, open, it open and they, they say, oh, just a little pressure. Yeah, so it's like, and then they take kind of a like, freaking hard ass brush. It's kind of like an old can opener. There. They're like, it's a little pressure. Yeah. And then they stick a hand in there like this and then they touch you like this for your ovaries. Would you like to go through that? I think I would rather that than a finger in the bum. I think you're very naive or stupid or something. Um, Chris, <laughs> Chris says, I will send you a photo of the tater sticker. Please do. That'd be cool. Um, I have had the Neurof Rot, or I have had the Malted. Malted. What's wrong with you? I have had the Malted Rye last year in Kentucky. Okay, so you know how good it is. Yeah. Um, just as I don't think the golf cart girl counts as a group of women. Ow. Joe, really? Come on, man. What was her name again? Amelia. You would know her name. I'm gonna be crack and say a card. If you're gonna marry someone who's attractive, you just have to get used to girls well, wanting to hit on you. that attractive. Um, the Barrel Proof Four Roses picks are OESV aged by the Bourbon Mafia. Okay. I, one of my two picks is OESV. My first pick that I got was OESV um, from Woodman's. So that is a good one. I do like it, obviously. It's four roses, single barrel, barrel strength. It's great. Um, Tricky says colonoscopy is done to find um, polyps, which are percancerous or actual cancer. People with low, low risk can have stool samples for colon cancel. Cancer. See, now you know more. Do you know how they say cancer in Spanish? If you say something racist, I'm going to leave you. El cancer. It's from Deadpool. Come on. He literally, he's talking to his friend. He's like, you know how they say cancer in Spanish? El cancer. And then he goes off and becomes Deadpool. Come on. That was funny. I like that scene. 
Yeah. It was funny. I feel like every single He looks like an avocado fucked another much older, more rotten avocado. Let's end the live stream. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm all right, fine. everybody. Um, thank you all for being here. All the stuff from Sasnack was good. The scotch was very good. The gin, as far as gin goes, was pretty good. The tequila, I don't think it's my favorite tequila, but... Um, it was I, just a select, not actually it was, made by him. It was a more... In, it was intriguing. I've never had mezcal. I don't know how I feel about a more savory style tequila. Um, Shirky says, sigh. I know. I'm hard. I'm not the handle. It's just the way it is, but... Um, Imagine living with him. Yeah, seriously. Um... But anyway, um, once we mix say, them, I'm gonna mix this into something else and see if I yeah, like it better. We, but it tastes good I just, just on its own. I think I think you'd like a gene tea with that. Okay, I'm just saying that it was also, very good on its own. Also, that isn't bad. That it's is not bad. Not what I remember them tasting like, so I can't. I'm struggling. Can you just drink it. Is it sour? I will drink it. I'm just making a pile of my orange peels right now. Well, you're in the live stream because that's what you're supposed to do. Trini says, Scotch, by the way, is made by Loch Lomond. They can do good stuff. Who's that? Loch Lomond? Lomond? You didn't want this Scotch? I'm so confused. Honestly, the name sounds familiar, though. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that, was in, that was in the Lock 75. Instead of the French 75, it was the Lock Gin. Oh, yeah. The Loch Ness Monster. 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 Yes. Okay. But um, anyway, if you guys are interested in picking up some Sass Snack Spirits, I know that uh, Reserve Bar has them available. Yep. Um, they're expensive, honestly. I wouldn't waste my money. If you're not a fan of the show, this is not worth the money to you. But Maybe plain it's and simple. also not the worst thing ever. It's not bad if you have fuck you money, but it, like this isn't a hundred dollar whiskey. It's not a hundred dollar gin. It's not a hundred dollar tequila. How much was the gin? Was the gin a hundred dollars? It was. I think it was close to that. Oh. I don't know. It, it's just it's not worth the price tag unless you're a fan. If you're a fan, like hell yeah, like I want these bottles. So is this cheaper if you go to Scotland? To Scotland? Yes. How much do you think it? It costs a lot to import. How much is in Scotland? I have no idea. So I feel like that's the price we actually have to look at to know mm, what it's worth. Maybe. But it's, we're not in Scotland, so it's not... No, I know. But if it's only expensive here because of the shipping and because Reserve Bar isn't necessarily always putting shit at MSRP, that's me then how is it fair to judge it based off of that? Is what I'm saying. How much How much do they charge it for where you don't have to get it there? Is what I'm saying. Oh, cool. Um... Chris says uh, he also has one more box just going through customs to be delivered next week, which has two George Remus picks, two OGD, B.I.B., Old Granddad, Bottle and Bond, and two Old Granddad, 114. That's that's cool. I really like, um, I like bean products, and Old Granddads are good. I have yet to have the Old Granddad bib, but I think I'll buy it very soon. I know that uh, Hanging AZ... I think it was having hanging AZ. It's been telling me to okay, buy it. It's seventy repeatedly. bucks in the UK with UK money. So how what much is? does UK the scotch? The yeah, the scotch. scotch. How much does UK money worth in US dollars? That I don't know. You should look that up. Um, I'm sure he says besides La Clamond, the same company also owns Glen Scotia. Interesting. Interesting. Well, it, it tastes oh, good. Okay, I, I so, it, so it's seventy pounds. In Scott, in Europe. Europe, yeah. And it's 90, which equals $90. So Reserve Bar has it for $10 overpriced, plus your shipping. Yeah. It's, like I said, if you guys aren't a fan of the show, probably don't get if it. If you are a fan of the show, though, it, yeah, it, it, it. it's worth drinking. I would never not drink these because they, they taste good. But for that price, yeah, for that price, I wouldn't want I'm sure they'll go down one day. Yeah, I'm the sure. the show is done. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, Shree says OGDB is a good daily drinker, basically an alternative to Turkey 101. I'm going to get a bottle. It's cheap. I'm going to get a bottle of that and OGD 114. Isn't that what I got your dad and then... OGD you know, like, 114 is what you got my dad. And I told him you could get... I told you you could get him bib or one. I told that's because you, every single time I go to the store, you'll point at the 114. Yeah, so that's because I that's the one that I, wanted, that I want more. I'll buy the 114 first and the bib second is what I would do. The 114 
honestly, sometimes it disappears. It just came back for like a while, but it was gone for like probably a couple months. Um, and old GD bib is always on the shelf. So okay. there's that. All right. But that being said, guys, that's the end of the live stream. Thank you all so much for being here. I know it's Thursday, which is odd, but, um, I appreciate everyone who showed up, especially all my regulars. So, um, all yeah, we'll our be back on Tuesday. we will be back on Tuesday. We'll be drinking the shanks and the bomb burgers. Well, I won't be doing that, but well, you might be the shanks is only 93 proof and the bomb burgers yes, is one way. When have I liked a 93 proof bourbon? But these are from the Mictors distillery. They're good. They're, I've they're very good. They're very good. Everyone says they're very good. I wouldn't know. Awesome. They're still oh, sealed, they're but they're very, they're very good. Oh, they're good. It's huge. Anyway, um, yeah. So thank you all yeah. for being here. I don't know who else live streams on Thursdays. Who does live stream on Thursdays? I don't know, but I'm sure there are other people live streaming. I'm sure Sugar Kitty knows. Um, Chris says on both the both the shanks and bomb burgers are good yes which is what i've heard and which is why i'm super excited to try them so i'll be trying those on tuesday um and yeah if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like button also being subscribed if you're not already which i know you guys are already thank you so much by, for that by the way um check out everyone else's live streaming everyone who's been here tonight check out scotch down under check out sean um, from whiskey wars is on right now everyone streams tonight sean from whiskey wars oh man i haven't talked to sean in Death a while Wars dogs Oh, man. That's why there's so little people in the chat. Yeah. Well, everyone streams tonight, apparently, uh, says Joe. Um, I love Sean from Whiskey Wars. Like, I could hang out with. I've talked to him, like, on live streams and, like, or, like, behind the scenes in live streams. I talked to him after mine and Bourbon Neil Fights live stream, which I should do another one of those. I should do more collabs. I love. I really, really, really you enjoy. Stay up until 1 o'clock in the morning. I know. Time. I really enjoy talking to the other whiskey tubers. They're so cool and they're such great people. Deathless Dogs, fellow Wisconsinites, west side of the state, over kind of by. Um, oh, really? Kind of by Eau Claire and. Um, you think they've ever been to. Point. You think they've ever been to. Yes, they have. Okay. Um, whiskey Row is also on, who I don't know personally, but I have been there. Drums. And Drams, yes, I do know him. He's on as well. Um, so yes, go watch all those people, please, and uh, tell them, let them subscribe. To us. Yeah, let them know that we sent you. But anyway, thank you all for being here. Have a great night, and we will see you all in the next class. Cheers. Yeah, yeah.